Right, we start with the latest developments in Ukraine's restive east, where yet another of the anti-government protests at checkpoints was attacked. One activist was kidnapped and several injured when around a dozen people believed to be pro-government troops moved in and near the town of Solera. RT's Polislea traveled there shortly after the incident. I'm here in Solidar, where within the last hour, a helicopter landed with what we're being told 10 to 15 unidentified armed men. I saw with my own eyes a helicopter delivering men here. They're all armed, but we're not wearing any insignia. They attacked a checkpoint and then simply vanished. No one has seen them since. One of our men was kidnapped by these people. Where is he now? Nobody knows. His phone is dead. People here do believe that they were members of the right sector. A gun battle ensued not far from where I'm standing. In fact, this is near the salt mines where there is an arms depot. Now, there is an army base just to my right. The soldiers there have currently barricaded themselves inside, but this crowd has gathered here to try and prevent what they say they believe would be members of the right sector who would want to try and come here and take these weapons. We're hearing that there are some reports of injuries. We have no more information about the injuries at this stage. We don't know exactly who is injured and what the extent of those injuries are. The situation at the moment is under control, but as you can imagine, very, very tense. Talking to the crowd here, they say that they have every intention to remain here, to stay defiant and not to leave this arms depot unprotected. Polislea, RT, Donbass region.